Good morning everyone, welcome back to the next episode. Now we've just dropped into Elwell Beach. Josh has got some new toys, some new DPVs or dive propulsion vehicles and we're going to go take them for a spin today in the water and see how they perform. I'm absolutely excited for this and I hope you guys are going to enjoy coming with us. But look how stunning it is today. Not a breath of wind today. But let's get into it. Good, excited to try out our new toy today. Uh, it's the Dive Extras. DPV, this is the Black Tip Travel. They make three different models, different lengths that balance out differently, but this one's a bit shorter for our, for our beach diving. Um, and the nice thing about it is it, it runs on DeWalt power packs, so you can switch them out between dogs and you can airline travel with it. Uh, we have the nine amp hours in here, which should give us about 90 minutes of continuous time, which you know me, my tank won't last 90 minutes, <laughs> so that's kind of the key selling point. Is plenty of time to get us out and back to the reef. Perfect. How many speeds do they have? Uh, eight speeds, I think. Eight speeds, so, nice. I think they have a turbo mode too, so we'll see if we can get into that. Perfect. Well, let's jump in. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> Well, it was pretty exciting. <laughs> we've, got, we've got a little work to do on the uh, buoyancy level of them, but that's alright. Yeah. It's salt water, but uh, I'm amazed how quiet they are. And how fast they are. Yeah. And then when they're going fast, it's like being in a river. I was level 8. <laughs> One absolute blast that was with Josh going out with his DPVs. Brand new toys, only just got on the island a couple of weeks ago. After lockdown in and diving so loud, we thought let's get out and go explore with them. We had a few issues at the beginning with them about buoyancy and getting them all sorted, but once we got them going, we had an absolute blast getting the reef. We were out diving a site called Tarpon Hole on Elbow Beach. Now normally you surface swim all the way out to the breakers, which is a good 15 minute swim. 20 minutes, times even longer if there's a bit of chop or a bit of current. Today, that literally took us 5 minutes, 10 minutes to get out to the breakers and coming back in, absolutely amazing. We had a barracuda that took a real interest in us. We went following the barracuda and then he came following after us as well. Horseside Jacks cruising under the arch, which is an amazing dive. And we managed to crank the DPVs up to level eight, which was insane. I think we we're gonna call it beast mode, me and Josh, because those things just took off at that speed. Just incredible speed of power off them. Now, Elbow Beach is actually a really popular site for locals to come and explore, but it's also a really popular dive site as well. We have Tarford Hole, which we just dived earlier. And what we have over here is the Pollock Shields wreck. Now, that's a wreck from World War One. It was actually a German freighter. I'm going to show some drone footage now because you can actually see the wreck from the surface. Now this wreck was actually, I said, 
was a World War I wreck. It was a German cargo ship which was captured by the British and renamed the Pollock Shields. Now they actually got caught in a squall in 1915 and they actually got pushed up onto the reef. Now once the squall moved they realised to the colour the water and hit the reef and unfortunately got stuck wedged on the reef. The crew were all able to rescue because just next to, or actually on this beach, the Elbow Beach Resort. Now they had whale boats that went out and actually rescued that wreck. I've actually dived that wreck a lot over the years. It's an absolutely stunning wreck. There's still live ammunition on it to this day. I'll tag the video up here. Me, Greg and Josh dived that a few years ago. Beautiful. The propeller showing still. You can see the wreck from the surface as well as you'll see in the drone footage. But I really hope you guys enjoyed coming out with us. If you enjoyed it, smash the video a thumbs up and you can please subscribe to the channel, it helps out a lot. And we'll catch you in the next video.